Hi everyone. Stream is starting. Setting things up here. Waiting for everyone to show up. I'm gonna give everyone a moment to show up specifically because we're about to start the horde is where I left us off. Uh so I just just want to make sure people are here before I I resume time. Hey Ron. Okay, we'll probably wait long enough. Welcome to the stream, everyone. So, time has passed a day since we were together last. We are at night. And it will start in about a minute-ish. I have done work on the house, and I've shored up our defenses here while we were gone. Also, I don't know if I placed the SMG turrets on camera or not. Like, I know I placed two of them, but now we have... Uh, we also don't have as much ammo as I'd like. We only have about, like, 500 ammo in each of the turrets. So I'm hoping that'll be enough. I have a fair bit of ammo. But not so much for everything else. So I'm just going to hope for the best. I mean, the blade traps should do... Oh, wait, I should turn on the blade traps. What am I doing? That before it starts. Okay. Okay, and north. Going to turn that down a wee bit for horse specifically. Oh. Helps if I reload. A70. Pretty excited for this. I mean, it's like kind of an iconic day, like day 7 and day 70, I feel like. It'll be even better if I can actually hit things. I see a cop. And make sure the cops specifically die. Because the amount of damage they could do to me with their bile or to my other stuff with their explosion is pretty severe. Good thing it doesn't seem like I can walk in front of the uh, turrets and get hurt at least. I'm going to try to snipe as many of the kills from the spikes as I can, because I don't believe the spikes... Ow! I don't believe the spikes actually are going to give me the XP. There's a way to get XP from traps. And I'm not using it. Also, I hope everyone can hear me okay over the gunfire. I heard a bird. Fucking buzzard. Buzzard! Buzzard! 
That scared me for a second. And Okay, good. I'm gonna use up my magnum bullet, seeing as I'm not using the magnum anymore for like normal combat. Uh, you can really see I'm not an FPS player. <laughs> I have good reactions, just not good aim. <laughs> oh my god, I missed that entire clip. Totally don't like the AK. Totally because it's easy to hit things. Totally not the reason. Hey, that one spike that's turned the wrong way might actually get destroyed this time. Don't worry, I promise to put it back the correct way. Ah, fuck. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. I was worried for a second. <laughs> it haunts you. Uh. Whoa. Okay, that spider was... Interesting. My people need me. I'm very excited to show the house to y'all. I did uh, whatever work I could on the foundation while uh, we were offline. Lots of digging and stuff. Only what like we had already planned to do. So, like, I just did all the heavy lifting. It's weird that the spiders stand bolt upright when you knock them over. Or, sorry, not when you knock them over, when you kill them. I also expected the spider zombies a bit more dangerous, since they can climb. But their AI, I think, is kind of stupid. So they just, like, leap way too far. <laughs> Spiders are funny, just because they just splat against the wall, and then they're like, Is this helping, guys? Yeah, I agree. They are, they're, that is exactly how they are. Like, did you see the one, like, the first one that just, like, flew way over all the spikes and, <laughs> and turned around? Uh... Funny to think of them as, like, an actually dangerous special zombie. Kind of not too dangerous when you're up here, though. Yeah, the spiders are fucking useless. 
from looks of it, which is great, because they can be dangerous if given the chance. Not that I want more buzzards, but I'm surprised there aren't more buzzards. I've only killed one of them so far. Okay, I would really like an auto-reload function that I can interrupt. That would be really nice. Because, like, I do not remember to check my bullets. But at least with the crossbow, it's easy, because it's like, did you or did you not shoot a bolt? If so, reload. <laughs> Skill points. We should look at those and decide what we're doing at some point. Did they change sides? Yes, they did. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. I need to cancel that so I can actually get my magnum back. Even with a little bit of range, the uh, shotgun is actually pretty good. If you're just shooting down. Not for this, though. And it's so much easier to hit things with the AK. Find the iron sights a lot more effective. Or at least just easier to use. Down? Down. At some point I should start to make like landmines. Hey, stop hitting my tower. I really need to craft a scope for this. Scope would be really nice right about now. Oh, that file just barely missed me. Nope! No. no. We're not doing this. We're gonna die now! God damn it! Ah, uh, the poor turrets. Stop bathing my turrets in acid. No, not not nail gun. Not nail gun. You can actually load the nail gun with nails though. And use that as like a quote a quote unquote weapon. Even though that's not how nail guns work. In real life. <laughs> though I mean to be fair, corpses don't work. The way in re they work in real life in this game, seeing as they are moving. So, I guess realism doesn't matter that much. Ow. 
God damn it. Okay, who was that? Who was that? Where are you and why are you an asshole? There you are. Wow, that was already the horde? It didn't feel very long. Hey. Everything turned on. Oh wow, they actually did some like decent damage to stuff. Maybe I'd, I might actually need to make some of this concrete. Yeah, that lost more than half its durability. Okay. Where are my Molotovs? And a lot of things. I don't want to live where you are then, Joe. That sounds awful. Okay, so... Need, uh... Keep this on me. Do I not have cobbles and rocks here? Okay, what do we get? Okay. Oh, we got some magnum bullets and a pit. Steel tool parts, magnum bullets, magnum bullets. Book. Magnum bullets. A lot of magnum bullets. Nine millimeter bullets. Good. I need those for my turrets. Duck and shot. Duck and shot. Millimeter. Did this get blown up? Oh, another turret. I like turrets. Put you there too. I have that one, and I have this one, and I have that one now. The one that's closest to me is the one that works. So, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, having four is actually, like, really good. Punchy two and Sounds sad, character. I'm feeding you. I'm always happy when I'm being. Shells. Ooh, good amount of cash. Later. Food. I didn't expect them to deliver so much food to me. And here's our motorcycle we got last time. Still very happy with that. <laughs> but I do need this.
this over here, storage. Yeah, they were carrying a lot of food, weren't they? Okay, more books. Seven, two. I had steel in my inventory, so I accidentally upgraded this to steel. I, I don't like upgrading the steel stuff if I can't make, like, obscene amounts of steel. I can't. Like, I have a, f I have a few hundred now. Like, it's good, but not that good. Not I can use it for every building block good. Rifle book. Always need more books on how to fist better. I think very satisfying about repairing stuff. What? Maybe that's why I like this game. Okay, well, the uh, nail gun is really good no matter what, so. Oh, somehow, despite the odds. That one weird spike managed to survive. As well as the other one weird spike I accidentally placed. <laughs> There's more of them now, in fact. Oh well, I'm sure none of you mind. Eh. Ow. Son of a... Upgrade. Uh, does not have steel on me. That away so I can stop. Oh. Okay, I forgot to pick up all the bags, apparently. Must have got distracted. Two rounds. Book to sell. Gets everything. Oh, that was okay. Now I want stuff. Lockpicks. Okay, is there any other bags I've missed? Any? Cool. Well, it has been a week. I don't know. I don't remember what our settings are for things resetting. But I do happen to have like I do happen to have some ladders here. 
I don't know. Go all the way up to the top and happen to everything or something like that. You know, that sort of stuff. Very stealthy. Okay, the Magnum's a quiet weapon. He just went flying off the building. Over here, will you? Why? That hurt a bit. Ah, where do you come from? Oh no. Like this. Door? Yep. <laughs> he just fell off the building. Uh, hello. This is a little bit harder to do than I expect. Ah! Surprise dogs. Man, it's raining cops and dogs. I hear another one. You're dead. No. You're dead. Any other problems? Like to address me. Well, I was slightly more dangerous than I thought it would be. That's okay. Because, uh, well, it just, just take word for it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I have to be careful. I'm going to extend my brain if I don't up spring. Got this. It pains me that that's now an old one. That is just what it's like to get older. Okay. I really like to be up there, I think. Oh, my sprain is just getting so much longer. Duration. Hello? Okay, well, this one's respawned. Okay, this has respawned. Good. Oh, <gasps> Blade Trap Bundle! Ah, treasure mess. Treasure mess? What the fuck? Treasure map. I don't know what a treasure mess is.
like parts. Like stuff. I can make an M60, you say? I would like to make an M60. <laughs> Are you alive? You're alive. Oh god. Active too. Okay, well, I want to do with that. Wait a minute, so there is a right here. Okay, I'm gonna go for a a unique headshot. That didn't kill it. Wow, that's terrifying. Gonna vices. Off. Going on over there, but I'm not see, not staying to see which of these funny fellows wants to eat me. Get back home. That spoil. A lot of our spoils are XP. I appreciate. It. Twenty nine days to our goal. Hundred. If oh, pay attention to what I hit. <laughs> Did not happen, don't worry about it. Right now, I want that. Better Jen's treasure. 1.1 1 .1 kilometer. That's not that far. Usually pretty good. Yeah, I should put an M60 on the crap. The only issue is that it's going to be a level 2 M60, but I mean, that will still probably be better than the TAR. Okay. Like, can I fix this anyhow? No. Okay. Section. Bullets. Okay, so I need to swap to my gun. See. I usually use. I think I usually use that. So I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna start taking these. These are armor piercing rounds. So I'm gonna start carrying those on me. Safer for me. Have a nice little punch when I'm fighting some. Okay. Next order business is. A super. I don't know. I don't care. I'll go somewhere. Oh yeah, I was going to put in. I finished leveling this up so that 
I can take Assassin and From the Shadows. So I am, like, as stealthy as is humanly possible this character. Ooh! I could take another level in archery, too. Oh. Another crit hit thing. Four successive hits in a short time cause the last shot to do 100% extra damage. Or drops it down to three successive hits. This. Okay. I'll get that next. The M60 is very cool. Uh, assault rifle parts. Plastic. Rings. And duct tape that I don't have. Uh, the perpetual fight to maintain any amount of duct tape. That must be in the wrong chest. I'm getting low on cloth. Wow. That's a mixture of terrifying and impressive. Actually, wait, no. I I'm under 500 now. That's kind of scary. M60. I can put this up. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I need that yet. Oh, okay. I'm going to bring some wood cube, cobblestone rocks, and some X. What we're doing right now is we're going to head out to the base. Because I want to show you all what I've worked on and what is left to do. Is that everything? Okay, good. It's done crafting. Okay, I think I have vaguely enough of everything. There. My nail gun. Nice have my axe and stuff, I think. Yes. Okay. So, I did whatever work I could before the Horde on the new base. I wanted to work for longer, but, like, I mean, I can't really do anything about when the Horde is. But I uh, fully dug out what needed to be dug out, and I laid the foundation that we discussed last time. I've left a few blocks unplaced so that we can do it together. And I brought some wood cubes with me this time, so I can place those instead of concrete and upgrade to concrete, which does take more resources, but it gives XP. Unlike the other option. Also it uses my wood cube. <laughs> okay. So here's the base so far. There's two layers of concrete going down. So like there's ground level and below ground level. You can see here what I have. Grab a This is the last little bit right here to dig out. I just wanted to leave a little bit so we could finish it all together. So this gives a lot of XP doing it this way. 
And now that we have the nail gun, it's actually really fast to do it this way. And there's no other difference besides having to use a little bit more uh, resources. Okay, that is the base of the area settled. And I just have like various thing placeholders here. The base of the base. Okay. Now it's time to really start doing the fun stuff. This part excites me the most. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the fact that we are in fact building a floating base that makes me so excited. Let's actually change the stream title. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to do an example to show off how we're going to be doing. Cool. I'm just going to use this corner right here. Cool. So this is a plate. So the top. Half of that is not visible. And I'm going to rotate this now. That like this. This is how we're going to make a floating base. Because as far as the stability engine is concerned, these are two sets of solid blocks that are connected to each that are like are touching each other. Which is bizarre. Who am I to argue with the game that says this is in fact a stable, totally not floating building? And also, the cool thing is, like, you can walk underneath, too. Like, we'll be able to walk around underneath, and it also means zombies can, like, wander underneath the house if they want. They can't hit us. I don't even know if they'll be able to hit the house at all because of the house being floating. This might be a terrible idea, what we're doing, but I'm hoping it's not. Okay. Hey. Oh. So this is a totally stable, not floating building. We have started to build. Uh, I'm just gonna show off really quickly the uh, like what the actual stability is of the base. Think of. So as far as this is concerned. Being that is green, this is a 100% fully stable, solid base that cannot... That, there, there's, there's no trick here. <laughs> this is just fully functional as far as, that, as far as the game thinks. I guess there's a trick in itself. Oh, I ran out of... Locks. Maybe I can't use the cube. They're just frames.
need to make sure I have enough wood. Because I have to upgrade using wood too. I'm going to use frames instead of the cubes. Because like there's wooden cubes and there's wooden frames and they're both. And this is why I did most of this off screen. Man, that's really good XP. Yeah, I'm already getting close to leveling again. How much wood left, actually? Okay, and that's all the wood I have. I guess I could cut down some trees. Oh, my horde. No, your friends are just falling over for fun. There's no one here. Totally no one here. Don't worry about it. Oh, I now get six times damage. Bad. Good passive skill upgrade. Select. I gotta stop sprinting until that sprain goes away in five seconds. Like, just keep making the, the time longer. Okay, there we go. I have... Yes, I do. I do have first aid bandage. Good. Oh, because I'm standing on the lip, that's why. This is so silly. I love that this works. Yeah, let's turn this back to normal. of you. Else? Oh, okay. I keep feeling like this is all just going to fall over and fall apart, but it's not because because this is stable. <laughs> it's just hard to get through my mind that this floating thing is stable. Feels so weird. By far, my favorite discovery, though, is that you can make floating buildings. <laughs> it doesn't look. Yeah, it's technically right. I guess it's not really going to be visible. Because we're going to be picking some sort of something. But in its place. By which I mean we're going to be painting it. Very happy I made all these blocks ahead of time, because otherwise this would out of pain.
We're just going to build for a little bit, and then we're going to go do stuff. I don't want this entire stream to just be me building. Because I can do that off, off screen, too. So this is the center of it right here. And these blocks are over here because they're just going to be denoting where my storage room is. So these blocks of two are going to be where I'm going to have four separate workbenches. And then I'm going to have six, uh, six uh, storage boxes above it. So two uh, columns of three. Which will eventually give me 24 boxes, and I'm currently only using, like, I think either 11 or 13 at most currently, so that'll give me, like, double the storage anyways. That's roughly what this room's going to be. I just have it laid out so I can show off where things are going to be. Yeah, because it's very easy to get turned around with four identical corners. Okay, copy rotation. God, it makes me so nervous doing this with upside down blocks. Like I feel like I'm on the verge of having everything fall. Even though I definitely am not. That's that doesn't actually matter. Because we won't see that. Be careful not to place this too fast. And also not place it over spot, spots I don't have stuff yet. Shape, copy, rotate. I'm going to decide how many spaces I'm going to want. Like, how much, uh, like, am I standing on what's going to be the floor, or should I go up another level is what I'm wondering. Currently, there's only two levels of concrete, and I don't really like to count the floor, so that's only one level of concrete, so I should probably go up a little bit. At least one more. At least. I, I don't like being close to the zombies. It just makes me nervous, so... Higher is better. Plus, I kind of want... Like, this is supposed to be a fortress. Like, so it's supposed to be imposing anyway. Worst comes to worst, it costs more concrete, and I can make more. That's not a problem. It takes time, but like I can just do that off stream anyways. It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. That's the start of the tower. I intend to make like bulletproof glass and stuff and put that up. Well. I'm trying to decide I'm sure where to put the floor. Does this feel far enough up for me that I'm not gonna feel anxious about it? <laughs> I'm going to elevate it a bit more. I 
I just don't want to feel like I'm on the ground. Because, like, I've spent a lot of time playing this game, and all the time I've spent playing this, it has always been ground equal death. Or outside, on the ground, you are dead. Dangerous. So, this will be my floral level here. Looks very square still, because, like, I'm... Yep! No. Damn it. Phone literally bumped the mouse. Oh. Well, oh, that was on my mouse. Bed. Okay. Cool. This is the level that the house will be at. This is going to be fun. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking multiple things right now. One, I could move where the storage room is. And the reason why I'm thinking that is where I'm going to be coming from mainly. Well, I guess I'll be coming from the west initially when I'm moving stuff from the house. But for the most part, I'm not going to want to be going back and raiding the uh, horse city, really. Like... The Wasteland City is where I'm going to get a bunch of better quests, so it would be better to go back there and do stuff there. Like, and if I want to, if like I want a trader that's, if I just want to go to a trader specifically, I can just go north on the highway, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, anyways, the reason why I'm talking about, like, which direction to come from is I am genuinely wondering about the ramp idea. Um, I brought this up a while ago, um, where basically I would build some sort of ramp jump, and it'll go to like a flat platform. Like, the, like imagine these are slopes, and I'll be able to drive straight up it and jump onto a raised platform where I can park my vehicle. So, one of these four quadrants. Because if you think about it, each of these areas, one, two, three, and the fourth that I'm on, are like their own quadrant. So for that like circle, I'm thinking of making one of them an exterior one, so I can like park my bike there. And the other ones to be like interior ones. So it's going to be a bit asymmetric in that sense. I also eventually want to make another level two that I'm going to put a farm on, because I want the farm to be protected as well. I'm glad that you agree. I think the I think it's gonna be really fun. Other there's no zombies. Curious, what do I get from this? How much So this is a bit counterintuitive, but I believe the shovel and the axe are bladed weapons. And bladed weapons are best for gathering things, which doesn't make a huge amount of sense, but I believe they are. Uh, there are perks you can where you can go into that specifically give you better gathering from animals if you're like gathering with a gathering tool. Uh, I don't have those, so I think it's going to be the same no matter what. I don't know. In the end, it doesn't matter if I lose a few things. House. My home is just lab. Yeah. 
Yeah, boy. Okay. I'm going to keep building till morning. And then... Actually, no. Fuck that. Uh, here's what we're... Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to an aerial view for a second. So, this is currently what it looks like. Um, wow, that looks really bad from this angle. Go to a different... I want to kind of show like the slice that I've worked on. That's kind of the other thing I'm trying to show off right now. Okay, so this is what I've worked on so far. Um, up. I'm going to match this to the other quadrants, so I'm going to be making it all like full and solid. And I'm going to be making the rooms, the platform to jump onto, and the jump. Um, I might actually leave the jump for a little while, just so that uh, y'all can be here when we're designing it, testing it. Uh, but I will, I will do like the heavy lifting of of like laying out the rest of the blocks down there, while we're while I'm off stream, just so like, you know, I don't want to spend too much time. On stream. I can leave this here. ID. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. Do grab a bunch of shit that we have here to sell and go to the trader. A lot of shit to sell here. We've got a lot of shit to sell here, and I want to go and grab the treasure chest while we have time. Like before, what before the day starts. I mean, might as well grab it now. Oh, yeah, need that. I'll grab that for now, just till we actually get to where we're going. Because I want to stop and grab some car parts. There's like cars around that just aren't useful. There's a rabbit in this car. Realistically, I could probably, like, disassemble all the cars, like, directly in the house, just because, like, I'm I'm not going to be able to look stuff, because I'm going to be passing it constantly. And if you're, like, stepping into the area where it is constantly, it resets it. Like, it, like, it resets the timer since you've last been in that area, so it doesn't reset the, it doesn't, like, restock whatever was supposed to be inside that loot container. I screw you. It's a bad idea. No, I'm tired. What does that do? Vitamins the key. I don't have vitamins. No vitamins on me? I don't have vitamins on me. <laughs> oh well. Who says drill isn't the correct weapon for zombie? Okay, well, it's not a drill, it's an impact driver. Still. I don't actually know the difference between a drill and impact driver, despite having both of them. IRL. I know one, like, looks way more compact than the other.
Not to be confused with the other thing, which is like like a hammer drill or a punch drill or something. There's other ones. I guess that is a quick Google that I just probably will not never do. Pair that and their top shape for selling. That should not even be sold. Grab that one. Duval. Let's deal with these problems. There. Un else immediately in the area. That was a deer. <laughs> That's not exactly dangerous to me. Thankfully, you can step outside the circle and not get penalized with the treasure chest for whatever reason. It's different than the supplies quest. You get penalized for leaving the circle for whatever reason. Okay, so we're getting the treasure first, so that we can sell the, like, cash and stuff we have from it. Trader. Sure, we're going to have cash. Like, old cash. Definitely going to get tokens. Always get that. Unless you get a really shitty treasure. I feel like it's moving... It's going to This might be down a little bit farther than normal because this is a hill. It struggles to understand hills. There we are. And I have luck. Picks. No, I didn't. No, did I put them away accidentally? No, I put the way accidentally. Damn it! <laughs> I was like, so I tried so hard. I was so prepared. I made sure that they were definitely in my motorcycle, and I totally got them out earlier because I was like, yeah, let's go, let's go loot things, and then I threw it into the dump chest, not even thinking. <sighs> wow. That is the worst treasure chest I have ever seen. I've gotten like 20... I think the the most I've gotten is 32,000 tokens. There's no tokens in this. There's 700 tokens worth of silver. That is ass! Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go anywhere else. I want to go to a place. I guess I could just go to Iceland. We can go fuck around the wasteland. Just heads up, I'm probably going to be streaming for about another hour or so. I don't want to... I don't want to, like, use my voice too, too much, because I am, like... I think I've recovered from being sick, but, like... 
I don't know, I'm just, just being careful, because, like, I have also recorded. I think this is the very first army base we had. Yep, I will go get us some bears. Go find the Berenstain bears and shank them repeatedly. I want to stop by here because, like, now I know this POI a bit, so it's very easy for me to break into it. Oh, shoot. This is probably not open anymore. The uh, hatch that we broke into last time. Both dead. You know, this entire thing is reset. I guess it's good. Cloth, I need that. Wait. Why did I. No. Why did I drop the lockpicks? I need those. I did that, and my brain's just like. You just hear the dial-up sound as my brain's processing. It's like, hey, it's something wrong here. Uh, I'm going to go grab my impact driver again, because I'm going to take apart the beds or cloth. I'm also going to throw this stuff in here. No reason to bear it on me. immediately need my shovel, and I immediately put my shovel away. <laughs> Whatever. That's pretty decent cloth, I gotta say. I guess I don't really need to bother with the metal parts, I can use cloth parts. That's yeah, almost 100 cloth right there. I think I'm so stealthy now that I can just walk around. It's ironic that stealth means that you don't have to be as stealthy. Because, like, I can just walk around a bit more without having to worry about things because they just won't hear me. Office chair, office chair. Creepy how they, like, stand bolt upright when you hit them. Clear out any rant. Yeah. Stamina. This is the one with the silencer, right? Yes. Okay. I can... In up around here. Yes, another level. And I'm going to pit this in Gunslinger because I'm pretty sure that this is considered a handgun. This game is silly.
Oh, I didn't realize these had such low hit points. Feels silly. Ooh, like glue. Did that? Okay. So. I don't know. I don't know if this one this thing's gonna work. But, um oh hello. Oh. Okay. That was a bit scarier than it was supposed to be. I don't know if this thing is gonna work this time. No, it's not working. Pretty sure that's supposed to be what opens the gate down. As in like the gate that goes down. And by gate, I mean this. Hatch. That's the word, hatch. A lot of zombies here. There must have been a wandering horde or something. I don't think the things walked out from them. Are they? Well, this is much easier to break. Ah, uh, no, my spikes are gone. That makes sense. I'm to stealth everything. I think you're dead. Okay, definitely dead. Heck. The danger zombies. That's scared. Hello. Ah! God, did not expect that. Ugh. <laughs> I fucking vaporized him. Oof. Okay. Not cool. I guess I'm going to use a first aid kit. I don't like being this low health. Not really work. Not use a first Wait. Okay, yeah. If nothing comes from my shotgun, then there's definitely nothing here. <laughs> Off. These only give two cloth each. Hoping these would get leather. These give leather. One leather. Not worth it. Oh, wait, I should actually loot the loot room. Almost forgot about that. <laughs> that would have been kind of silly. Well, it's... Vitamins! I needed that. My fatigue.
Wait, no, not that. Uh, I need... Yeah, I want to keep that. Okay. I do have one lockpick. I got from upstairs. I do not have one lockpick. Or lockpick. How much time we spent in this one particular room just like hanging out down here for the entire night? That felt like such a long time. It was like so long ago. That was pretty long ago. A lot of money. That. Get some food. Should totally be able to climb the other side. Like, come on. Oh. Okay, hold on. I can't make very many ladders, can I? I might be able to make do just this. Yes, okay. Sell some of the extra headlights, too. Actually, there's a bunch of electrical stuff here I can take apart if I want. I can, I can take apart the generator, but I don't think it's actually worth it. Wow, those... Oh, I didn't even notice the books here. And a lockpick. I had to use that earlier. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, can't... Can't screw them. I always want to have a melee weapon on me, because you never know when you're going to run into bullets, but I swear, like, I go out of my way to use it the majority of the times I use. That fetch quest is for Dr. Bob. I guess I'll do the fetch quest quickly, and then go to Trader Bob. Oh wait, where's the... okay. You get on the road. Not wandering through the wasteland hitting. Okay, I only hit one thing, that's not too bad. Lots of broken vehicles. Oh, so I'm going to be using this road a lot. So, might as well clean that up. This road specifically, thing is, it's like the one for. Well, I mean, it's not totally the one, but like, no, I'll get on this road if I want to go to the wasteland city, just because I don't want to go actual wasteland waste. Go through the. Or I could just go on the road to the wasteland instead. Because the wasteland proper is awful. And it will just destroy my bike in the process, too. So, thank you. Oh, that is a 
Zombie Dog Corp. That was. I don't like having to fight dogs. Bad. I mean, they're not dogs, they're zombie dogs. But I have to make that distinction in, their, in my mind, because it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, Especially because the, uh, the zombie dogs have like a similar physique to one of my dogs. My Mastiff. He just looks a bit scary. Now remember, Ron, you're on Bear Watch. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> There's so many things to hit. Uh... Oh god, <laughs> this is awful. Place. Uh, place with an radioactive spider, that's what this is. Something immediate to... Oh, fuck, this thing scare me. Find the supplies. Okay. Yeah, no, thank you. I don't care if it takes half a clip. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> That's one way to open a door, I guess. Like, I meant to do that, but... I didn't really think about it before. Okay. Apparently I'm very lucky. Well, I was lucky. Well, whatever. I got the chest, and I don't care to search around this house, because it's probably full of... Well, it's probably not full of anything very good, to be honest. Okay, good. So it was Trader Bob that this quest is for. That's good. I should stop off at our little bunker. See what I left there, because I don't really need a bunker if I'm going to be moving, if we're building the house where we are. Oh, god damn it. Had it driving in this game. Uh... This, and gas it up. That's mine.
think I have an extra iron shovel at home. I don't need to worry. Head to that. Grab the rest. That's mine. Pledge parts. Have a gun. Oh, and I need that. Gem station. A beaker here, that's nice. Get it in a second. I'll that stuff in a second. Hold on. Sell some shit. Selling a steel shield. Sell that. I should keep that one. Whatever, I can sell that. Lots of money. Okay, well, I'm going to save, leave these here to sell later. That. I think probably the crafting bundle, crafting book bundle is the best. Nope, that's a ma'am. Oh, sir, thank you. Okay, clear zombies. Passing gas. Ooh, passing gas is good. Passing gas, that's all. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are all these passing gas? Well, it's wise, but. All three of the first ones are passing gas. Ugh. I'll take that one. Okay, what do you... Oh, he's selling a mini bike. Parakets. Spotlights. Spotlights are good. Solar banks. I wonder if those actually work. Yeah, they actually work. Wow. Not just for play. Oh, the shotgun out of her. Those are good. Oh, there's, a, there's vehicle books. Well, I have to buy the vehicle book. Those are the most important of everything. Cobblestone rocks are cost absolutely nothing, so I have to buy them. Well, they have a better compound crossbow. It's not worth one one tier is not worth fifteen thousand to me. What do they have in the vending? Buy some rockbusters, jailbreakers. Buy some millennium. Money there. Don't worry. Couple things. The oil drums and stuff. Oil drums in the crafting stations. I'm hungry. Oh, right. I should find some. I have pizza in real life, though. <laughs> oh, I can just drink right now. Okay, so I'll do Okay, so I think the crafting state. Yep, there's a.
I guess there isn't much besides the ATM. Oh, ATM and gas pump that are worth looting. Grab like a little or I can. Where's my bike? Here. Oh, I have no reason to go out the way where there's extra zone. Go this way. Okay, so food. Eat some stuff. Bye. Oh, I can make this. And I can use the lock picks and the jailbreakers together. If I need to. Hey. Bang up this quest quickly. I want to get through a bunch of quests with this. I this uh trade trader ideally. Um not necessarily at this moment, but like in general cuz the more quests I do with him, the higher tier the quests are going to be. And currently I'm only getting tier 1 quests, and I obviously want higher than that. For the sake of XP and rewards and such. Huh? Oh. Came from. Oh, I'll just take a band-aid then. Yeah, clear quests at passing gas. Very easy to complete. Because you just kill... Huh? Yeah. Or zombies. And you're done. Yay. Plus gas and car park boxes. Nope. Don't hit that crate. God. God. I really... This is my personal feelings, but I really do feel like they need to reduce the amount of damage that your vehicle takes, like, running into things. Because, like, even if it is more realistic the way that it is currently, God, it's so much more fun to smash things. And also, you kind of just run into things often. I think. It's me. I'm bad at not running into things. Also, don't care about the buzzard. Gunpowder. 500 gunpowder sensor. Okay. Passing gas. Stay here. The buzzard's angry. Like, I can't get to you when you're in. Yes, I know, that is the intention. Okay. Wonder if I can do this quest and get back in time. Turn it in before now. Also, I'm a bad customer because I totally forgot to close this door there.
bit too much of a drift. Oh, hey Pyro. Yeah, I would love to. Wait. This is the bunk oh fuck. This is the bunker one. Okay. I need to like go and grab the stuff that I left in here before I loot it. Saw something. There we are. Something... Something up there, I just don't know. There. Whatever, I don't care. There used to be, so, there used to be kill quests in this game where it's like, ah, kill X number, fuck off, kill X number of animals, and there, ah, fucking hell, and there was a, a kill buzzards quest, which was always really annoying, and it was actually called buzz off. Happy memories. Great. Oh, five steel club, nice. Okay, what did I leave here? Very, very little. Yeah, I'm gonna collect anything important. I mean, it's all gonna get destroyed soon. Land claim. Oh, have you played this game before, Pyro? Stay bandage. Oh, wow, there's a shit ton of meat here. Okay, now I can destroy this. Oh, the quest start is at the... Wow, I managed to actually kill that radioactive zombie with a headshot before it woke up. That's... Didn't think I'd be able to do that. Ah, okay, so you're really old school then. Remember when the netcode was so bad that the zombies looked like they were just standing still? The Alpha 13. If you have any interest in the game, I would highly suggest coming back and trying it again, because they've updated a lot of stuff, and it's a lot closer to like a competent game now than it was before. And I would consider this a competent game. It's still weird and has some bugs, but like...
There you are. That's fair. Ugh, finding the time for anything is always hard. I am intimately aware of that. I'm intimately aware of that fact. Wait, there was a box somewhere. Right up here. Vaguely remembered box. Oh, well, it's night time. There were so many good games out there. It was hard to like pick what you want to play when. Wrong, wrong thing. I read the words clear and trader. <laughs> no, area cleared for trader. Whatever, I don't pay for that badly. I feel like grain alcohol is no longer a thing in this game. I haven't seen any in a very long time. Ooh! A level 6 compound bow. Best bow in the game. That's pretty good. My compound bow is level 3, and so is my compound crossbow. I'm gonna go drop stuff off and then back. Why is everything glowing? Oh. Ah, fuck! Didn't even notice me firing at him. I'm wondering why he was running at me. I'm like, oh, it's nighttime. When zombies have the hardest time pathing through lines less than half blood, railings, posts, etc. I mean, yeah. They've always been bad at just pathing full. Oh, fuck. That was my pick. I hit escape so that I could, like, not use my lockpick, but it used the lockpick. Sad. Because I wanted to, like, take the lockbreaker thing. Jailbreaker. Well, pickaxe v ATM. What ha let's see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully what happens is ATM opens. There we go. So many zombies.
I suddenly have so much food. Okay, so I at take else there. I think what's the thing I need? Salvage to always make me. That book? You know, this late in the game, it's really sad what, that the traders close at night, because I really just want to go into the trader so I can get a new quest and that be that. Alright, so. You are a rude fuck, what you are. I ran out of bullets at the worst time. Okay. I think I have 9mm in my... Like, I should go look for that. Don't feel like being in the wasteland at night. Feels like as sketchy as sketchy can be. <laughs> okay, cool. I do have some bullets. Ooh, a level six ratchet. Wow. This is one of the only issues with uh, using armor-piercing rounds, is the normal rounds you pick up all the time don't stack. What is this? Is this a 7 skull? Oh, this is a 6 skull. Oh, no, do not hit my bike. Well, I'm in a six skull right now, so we'll see how this goes. Don't think I've looted a six skull yet. Mildly terrified. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to take the recog. So I have something. Okay. Where am I supposed to go into this place? I'm going to try to be somewhat stealthy now. Oh no, the door is locked. What am I ever to do? I just hear... Make out in these arms. Steroids. Buddy. Oh yeah, they're in the cupboard. Always in the cupboard. Hello.
close this. Oh, no, they just walked. Mechanical parts. And forged iron. Where one of these things gives for steel, but I don't know what. I don't have any money on me. So I can't spawn. This is cloth? What? This feels like I'm about to die, but I don't see anything. And I can't hide underground. I can, however, do that. Nothing too dangerous yet. Dog didn't even come over here. Oh my god. That took so long to hit him. Nope. 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 Pleased. Oh, there's like 50 places that things could hide here. So many spots. That's all outside. I don't give a shit about that. Where the dogs came Around very quietly. Nice and quiet. Doesn't really matter whether it's day or night, though, because zombies are feral, anyways. Probably be far and be. Behind the bar. Sofa. Well, that's even more terrifying. Zombies are the ones you don't see. Okay. Well, there's part of them. I don't know why there's a jail door there. And the random explosions outside are not making me feel more comfortable.
That's shoot. Holy. A real swanky resort just having like a bowling alley and shit. I want to go to a resort with bowling alley. Wait. Funny enough, the doors exploding really just do not bring in any zombies for any reason. I don't know why. Door exploding? Nah. Friend dying? Nah. Friend backflipping and punching me in the face? Nah. Oh, I smell you. That's the zombie. Okay, where do I go now? Okay, it's getting harder to... S oh, I guess I go up. Okay. It's a really nice area. Oh. That's not a real zombie. Usually those don't get me. That one got me. This feels kind of calm for a six spell. But I do remember last time we did something like this, and it was really, really calm until Loot Room. So, I guess that's what... Dress you. I guess I have sand on me. No, I'll pick it up. I have sand on me. Don't worry, I'm this indecisive just normally as well. Not just on stream. Okay, power attacking them with a melee weapon really does not feel like it does much, I gotta say. Ow. Oh. Hey, give me an abrasion. For half the time, it feels like fighting with a melee weapon just wastes my stamina. Unfortunate. Wait, I can't pick up cloth? Oh my gosh, I'm full on cloth. cloth.
Oh, there you are. Okay, up. I want to keep some seeds, but I just don't feel like keeping... I don't know. Must be around where the loop. Oh god, I'm, I'm really glad that they're stupid. That could have been a problem. <laughs> I read testosterone extract as testicle extract. Get it from bears, and I don't really want to extract anything from bear testicles. Especially not with my bear hands. Ah, oh, good, you're still alive, Ron. <laughs> okay, so obviously there's still something somewhere. Like, we haven't found a loot room yet. goes out some. Maybe these are at the end. What the fuck was that? Why are there landmines everywhere? I go down. I can make power doors. I can't think of a good way to make a door ajar. Nice room. Another vehicle book. That's three vehicle books I've gotten today. Okay, it is super stealth mode. Fully reloaded. One day. Or except with the four by four, right? And I do not like the melee weapons later on in the game. Like, they just... they're... I 
can make a door ajar only after it's been jammed. <laughs> I love that. That's a good one. Must be empty. Echo's up there somewhere and has a sensor? Oh god. Why do I feel like this is supposed to open the doors? Oh, hello. I don't like this. This like a TV? Oh yeah, that's a projector screen. Nope. No hidden saves. That's definitely the way out. Into the abyss I go. What is this? Like a resort, but this definitely is not resort like. Feels like the last resort. Yeah, these are arrow notches. You can like fire out. This is a bunker. Maybe this thing isn't a resort. Maybe this is just a house. That's raw stone. Can't imagine a bowling alley in your house, though, so it feels a bit. I guess some people are, like, crazy rich, though, so. Whatever. Okay. I feel like there's there's definitely a button of yes right here. Uh, there's a complex. The place just gets bigger and bigger. I wonder if I can make this without it breaking. Holy shit! I can't believe I made that. Whoa, this place is big. What the fuck is this room? It's like a torture chamber. Fucking hell. I'm gonna get like good screenshots for my thumbnails. Uh, things gonna fall from the ceiling. 
I feel like they're going to fall from the ceiling, but... I don't have to worry too much about being quiet. Sound only travels so far in this game anyways. Uh... I don't like that, though. Close that door. All safety. Yep. That's good. I have an ergonomic grip on this. No, I don't have a slot for it. Place the structural bracing and then structural bracing. Yeah, that does seem. Not enough to grab everything, though. <laughs> Oh, I have a stupid amount of lead, so I don't need to carry lead with me. Oh. Very follow bolt to me. Pleasant on the surface, but hides a hides a darker secret. Yeah? Where? I take it that game was like a lot of experimentation and stuff. I've never played Fallout, so... That's where the... Whatever, I'll get rid of clay. You know what? I have enough clay and sand toxins. I can get more easy. Oh. Missed. That was some very dystopian shit going on. There. How do I get the question? Yeah. Go away. Shooting right? Got some gas while I'm here, though. Gas is still a pain for me to get, so. I don't think about it. I need to go up. Whoa, this place. I see a hardened chest over there, which is a danger place. Back up here. Let them try to... Oh god, I forgot they jump! Right, that is like their one and only feature that makes them unique. I disliked that.
load up. Why are there so many zombies around here now? There's so many. Okay. I don't like you. Definitely a bunch over here. Clear them out before they become a problem. Where are they? It must be upstairs. Like, I have no idea where else they could be. Not down here. I'm exploring this. But I have no idea where those zombies are. Okay, well, I'll go back. Fun room. I f it sounds like I'm surrounded. Which is terrifying. But I don't see anything. Which is more terrifying, question mark? That goes. Where are they? Whatever. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna find, just loot whatever I can before wherever whatever that is gets here. What can I actually pick up, really? Oh, a level 6 steel spear! Nice! I want that. Badly. I'm gonna take... The nine millimeter. The rest of it's staying here. I only have so much. Oh my gosh, that's an M60. It's a better M60 than the one I know is crafted at home, unfortunately. <laughs> uh. It really terrifies me how much noise there is. Okay, so I have no lockpicks, so I have to smash through this. So once we're finished the six skull here is probably going to be the end of the stream. Got a lot of good stuff done so far in the stream. Gotten three trade requests done? Yeah, three trade requests done this stream. And I think we've gotten three hardened chests too. Oh, I can probably put put that on there. They'll definitely want the M60 though. The Stallstone extract is actually worth a hundred a piece. But I'm gonna scrap the forged iron. That's probably the only way I can actually take it home with me. Leave the wood. Get more. Load. I think I'm fully loaded. Oh, I can get another slot, but... At... 
still have enough of everything that I don't think I need to swap to the M60. I'll just work with what I have. Oh god. What the fuck is going on up there? Oh, hi Monochrome. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming. You're just playing some Seven Days to Die. What the fuck is going- What the fuck is this? Is this intended? I don't- This doesn't feel intended! How is there still more after a full clip? I thought it was two clips. Because of the extended clip. Holy shit! That was a bit ridiculous. Ugh. <laughs> uh, oh god. More stuff I can't hold. And even more stuff I can't hold. Those are only 70. Grab those. Oh. Oh, it's the door I walked past initially. What's this? Oh. oh, a room with guns. Okay. I swear there was a gun room that I completely missed as well. Wow, okay. There's just so much happening. <laughs> okay, um... Can I put anything in my motorcycle? <laughs> Because my inventory is so fucking full. I There has to be more stuff down there. I can easily get more. Okay, can I drink anything? I can drink that. Okay. what I can place to maximize my storage as much as even possible. I guess I'll grab the Gosh, just so I just have so much stuff. It's so hard to manage all of it. Okay, there's definitely a room down there I missed. I know because I remember there being a room full of guns that I like, get access to. Here we are. Oh fuck yeah. Hey, you are still alive. Still more zombies in this place. Fucking hell. I'm gonna be there. Ew, it's flagellum is wiggling. Gosh, so much ammo and stuff. Wow. So much loot. Just an ungodly amount of loot. What else to describe besides that? I can grab that. Uh, yes, I can open the gun safe too. With whatever space I have left. Zero. Second. Grab the casing. We went way longer than I intended to, I gotta say. Okay, cool. Even have one 
one open slot left. Okay. Go this way. Back up here. Where? Where the fuck? I hear a dog. Ugh. Wait, do I have? I have extra room. I heard the stupid chest close and it freaked me the fuck out. Okay, I can actually scrap that and take it with me. That and that. Gosh. Okay, so I can go up here now. Okay, they're definitely right here. Where do these things keep coming from? Bum, bum. Got the leather, the only thing I actually care about. This. Oh, just more area I haven't explored. <laughs> Fucking hell, this place is huge. Like, it doesn't look it from the outside, but it's really big. Oh, just a random ammo slush. Corpse room. Flush cement place. Cement mixing place? Ow. Oh. Star. Hey, there's a dildo, too! More like a butt plug. I think it was my favorite. Time to return to the train. Turn, turn in the quest. Then all the stream. Because I've gone over a fair bit and I do. Make sure I'm not exhausting myself too much. Just so fun to keep playing and playing and playing. <laughs> I like spending time with y'all. So very easy to forget that I have like a schedule to keep or like plans or health. I guess I'll keep this pledge. Tell the rest. Oh, it's a testosterone. Okay. And turn the quest. Oh, third tier one quest from him. And all of these suck. I guess I could take the schematics thing and have it yet. Pipe bomb. Yay! Okay, so that's tier one complete. Free bicycle, water filters, farming bundle. That's actually really hard to pick. I mean, this is 4,500 tokens. Yeah, I'll take the water filters. Cool, so I'm now on to... Oh, opening trade routes, cool. Where the fuck is that? That's none of the traders I know. 
Okay, cool. And then normal jobs. No, I don't want a tier one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know you're closing. Just hold your horses. Up. 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 Your fluffy horse. Stock or something? I feel like he restocked in the time that I've been gone. Oh. Fuck. Well. I guess that is that. <laughs> okay. Gonna pause it there. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you all for coming to the stream. I appreciate it. Really nice to be able to be back and streaming and stuff and creating new content. It's it sucks being sick. <laughs> I, you never realize how valuable your voice is until it's you're like struggling to use it. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. Everyone who's here and has been here, I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Uh, if you get the chance and feel like you want to see more stuff from me. Please follow the channel, and there's also the uh, YouTube channel as well to subscribe to. I just put out a video for Vampire Survivors today. Uh, I have a... I found a tree that is a character in the game. Uh, it's just a tree. It moves about as fast as a tree would. And it is really silly, and I love it. So I made a video on it today. Hopefully more Vampire Survivors is going to come out this week. Uh, the stream... Tomorrow's probably just going to be the stream coming out. But I do want to hopefully put another... At least one or two more Vampire Survivors videos out this week. And I still do want to edit, like... A collection of the hordes together. So that... I have, like, the highlights. But, yeah. Anyways. See you again at... Uh, 4.30 Eastern on Thursday. Hope everyone has a great night and a great day tomorrow. Oh, and thank you, Mono. I just noticed your message. Good night, everyone.